take a seat Mr. Splitchkins. Why thank you sir, that's very kind of you. Actually sir, it's going to be a bit awkward for me to take the seat away today. Can I maybe come back for it tomorrow? Only I've come by bus you see and they might not let me back on, not with an armchair. When I said take a seat, I meant sit down. I wasn't actually giving you one of my armchairs. Oh. Oh right. Well that's a relief. I mean these office chairs are just hideous aren't they? I mean I can perfectly understand why you would want to try and give them away. I chose these chairs myself. They were very expensive. Oh. Well in that case, we'll say no more about it. Your secret's safe with me. We've all made embarrassing furniture mistakes at some stage in our lives. Okay. Let's move on Mr. Splitchkins. Can you tell me why you've applied for this position? Well it's the money mostly. Let's face it, no one would want to work here for free would they? By the way, that painting is one of the worst I've ever seen. I mean what is it supposed to be exactly? Maybe a man trying to steal an Easter Island statue with orange wings? I can't tell if it's smoking a cigar or catching a fly with its tongue. Or yes. Maybe that's it. It's a hideously deformed cane toad with trousers, being attacked by an orange moth. Now look here Mr. Splitchkins. That's a self-portrait. I painted that myself, oh dear. Well I'm not going to tell anyone, I promise. It's actually quite a flattering portrait now I look at you, oh, and please don't tell me you painted that one on the wall behind you. I mean blue and orange squares? What were you thinking? Now look. This has gone far enough. This is about your talents not mine. Now can we get on with the interview? Why of course sir. There's no need to get angry just because you ran out of nice ties this morning. We've all been forced to wear a tacky orange and yellow striped tie at some stage in our lives. When we've lost all our good ones. God damn it Splurchkins. This is my everyday tie. Smart move sir. Getting an everyday value range tie from the local supermarket. You were lucky. It must have been the last one they had by the looks of things. I think it's time I showed you the door. No need sir. I saw it on the way in. And let me tell you sir, it's a fine door. One of the best I've seen. And really useful? I mean that was a stroke of genius getting that thing installed in the wall like that. It must have been hell climbing through the window each day before you came up with the idea. And I noticed it comes with all the extras, you know, a handle and hinges and stuff. That's it Splitchkins. Just get out of my office. This interview is over, well. Thank you sir. You've made the right decision. Luckily I can start straight away and don't worry. This office will be fine. I'll get the chairs changed over in the morning, though I think it's for the best all round if I burn the artwork discreetly when everyone's gone home. Just please get out of my office Mr. Splitchkins. Please just leave. Excuse me sir. The guy in the corridor said you wanted some furniture removed before he moved in? Ah. Thank you Jenkins. I'm afraid it was another unsuccessful candidate. I think you know the drill by now. I'd like you to escort Mr. Splitchkins outside, and then nail his head to the pavement, you know. With the others. Wow. Is that another one of those, art critics? How many is that now? Well that's five rejected ones from this morning. And there's another five candidates to see this afternoon. Oh. Well, I'll make sure there's room on the pavement. They're beginning to block the main entrance. I think we're gonna need a much bigger pavement at this rate. 